Hello there and welcome to another SOS reading viewer. Uh, viewer, this is a general reading, however it is someone's oracle messages, so either it's going to resonate for the most part or it won't. Um, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, just either click off or feel free to check out any of the other past oracle messages. Uh, those are all timeless, okay? Um, viewer, let's see what or uh, what SOS messages come out. Oops, hang on. Come out for you and what else you need to know. All right. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on with you right now. Okay. So you are going to get ready for... Okay. Your love life is going to ascend to another level. So wherever your love life is, it's going to hit the next level here. Okay. You guys are getting prepared to have some type of intimate conversation, um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody here, okay? And I do feel that it's going to um, open you up to being a very playful, and also um, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to take whatever love life you got going on right now, um, and it's going to take it to another level of commitment with someone here, okay? I feel, viewer, that you're going to finally have a conversation with someone and you'll finally be able to honestly discuss your feelings and whatever else you need to um, discuss with each other, okay? It may, um, it may cause you guys to actually recapture romance because I'm really getting the page of uh, cups here. You know what I'm actually kind of seeing here? I'm seeing the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Hierophant. <laughs> so we'll say Water Sign is coming through and also a Taurus Energy. I do see some type of commitment happening here, okay? Wherever, wherever any type of um, relationship issues or anything that is happening, um, whether it's the past or it's a present thing, just get ready. Some of you guys are getting ready to meet someone. And you guys are going to really have intimate conversations and really um, take to take it to another level here. Um, I do think it uh, not think I do feel that this is very spiritually guided for you, uh, viewer, with this Hierophant energy coming through with this engagement. OK, so whatever it is, I do see a new beginning. Um, I see for some of you guys, it's a new beginning with a, a new soulmate, some type of uh, connection here and. Um, for some of you guys, this is um, amending or repairing, having finally having a conversation and getting to the root of things, okay, and getting playful again and taking it up to another level here. Let's see what else is coming out. Yeah, you guys are definitely divinely protected. Again, coming through very strong is, um, excuse me, was really picking up the Hierophant, Hierophant uh, card here with Taurus energy. Yeah, you guys really are, there's something that is being watched over. There's something that is being guided and there's some type of protection, especially between two people here. Look, two people here, two people here, two people here. Okay. Know that you're all, you're divinely protected always, especially if you guys are going through some times where you do need or feel that you need that extra protection with your energy. Um, there may be something here significant um, with uh, yeah, clear, honest communication. I'm actually getting, um, I'm actually getting the King of Swords energy coming through here. Okay. I feel that there is going to be that final conversation, clear, honest, mature. Um, oh, and count your blessings. So you guys definitely have, uh, blessings coming towards you, viewer. All you need to do is maybe stay in, um, for some of you guys, you just need to get very playful right now. Maybe you want to start journaling. Maybe there's something with writing here. Maybe you guys want to start tracking down little tiny things that you get that you can count as your blessing because more is coming towards you, viewer. Let's see what this is. Four of water, missing an opportunity. Oh my goodness. And discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So you guys are sitting at this four of cups energy, feeling very dissatisfied, disappointed, bored. Again, there's something coming towards you where you're going to have an intimate conversation here. 
Okay, it's going to take your love life to another level, but we may need to review and reflect what's going on with ourselves, right? If we're in a constant state feeling that we're missing an opportunity um, or that we are, you know, maybe for some, um, we're just having a hard time seeing any offers or seeing anything out of what we can see in front of us, okay? Which for a lot of you, a lot of you guys, there's not much going on. Some of you guys may be, yeah, this is another, this is also a card of uh, meditation and reflection here. Again, water sign is showing up here. So that's really showing up um, very strong. So lots of emotion here, lots about love. I'm even picking air sign up here as well. Okay, viewer. Spirit's letting you know there's an opportunity here, especially where you guys feel, feel unfulfilled in, in your love life or your emotional fulfillment, okay? There is this opportunity because this mermaid is looking at three cups here, right? But there's this one cup that we're not noticing and it's a big, big cup. Yeah, we may be just really disappointed about the past here. What else for the viewer? I feel some of you viewers are writing down or doing affirmations about your love life, okay? And you just need to hear that, that that's just confirmation that your angels are listening to you, okay? Oh, see, there's the four of cups energy also, mm -hmm. eight, of, eight of swords energy is coming through with this entrapment card. We may be having a real tough time right now getting out of feeling very dissatisfied and disappointment it's very stuck energy okay let's see what's going on i want to get a little bit more about this for the viewer with this entrapment <clears throat> mm, you've, you've known each other before so this is a past life relationship that you've dealt with, and this is why there may be a sense of <clears throat> not being able to um, release a situation because I do feel that there's something that is restricting us and there's either something we're not communicating, something that we're not doing, or something that we're fearful here. <sighs> Some of you guys just feel a very strong connection uh, because it's a past life. Um, it's a past life, past life relationship here. I want a little bit more too for the, for you viewer with this. So I feel for a lot of you guys. Okay, it is a general reading, but a lot of you guys, there's something here with someone from the past, and um, uh. And also, I want to keep this very, very open in general. This could also be a past life soul bond here that you haven't met in this lifetime, okay? For a lot of you guys, though, there is something here about giving your relationship a chance. We may be having to really look at something here because for some reason, Spirit is bringing this up um, to work on your partnership. I really was getting the Two of Cups here, viewer. Um, with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation so i do feel viewer some of, most of you guys i feel will have this opportunity with someone um, that you feel great disappointment about right because you do feel that it was some type of missed opportunity um, and you're going to have a, um, a chance to come back um, and have a conversation uh, again something about honesty clear-cut com uh, communication um, and for some of you guys too, there's a situation where, where you've had a missed opportunity, spirit is bringing you um, into um, uh, a situation where some of you guys, you know, you may really connect and bond right away and start really connecting and talking and it just feels, your soul will just feel, you know, the resonant towards each other, okay? And it's just easy to be very playful and um, and, and it ascends here, okay? And spirit wants you 
um, to just stay open to that and to work on this relationship, to be open to this relationship, okay? But I do see a situation for some of you guys that, yeah, we're, there may be fear, um, there may be something just, you know, a lot going on in our mind right now about a per certain person and you could possibly be marrying each other. You hear that, uh, the owl? Hmm. Okay, I wanna see what else for the viewer. And then I was gonna say too about that Two of Cups uh, energy was, <clears throat> yeah. You know, not giving up on someone that you feel very connected to, that you love here. Um, for those of you guys um, that you have someone coming back here from the past. Yeah, your love life is really definitely influenced by your spirituality. Um, religious factors are, so, so some of you guys, it's religious. Some of it's like your, something to do with your own spirituality. It doesn't matter, but it is. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path here. So you may have come from two different walks of life. And I feel for a lot of you guys watching this, you probably are the one that's a lot more spiritual, spiritual, more spiritually advanced. Um, and someone um, that you feel very connected to or that you're about to meet that you're very connected to. Um, I feel that it's it's gonna finally meet at the same place when it comes to your own values and visions and your own spirituality okay but you do need to know for you know the something about a missed opportunity here it was because there was different um, factors when it comes to um, you know spiritual awareness here okay let's see what else for uh, the viewer Yeah, Spirit's just confirming that this really could be the one viewer. So we may need to just kind of contemplate and review things about, you know, um, whatever we've got going on that makes us feel like we can't move forward here. Some of you guys feel hopeless about it, okay? So yeah, this, th th this is a situation where this, is, this could be the one viewer. Okay, and some of you guys, you need to know this, that you've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? And some of you guys, you are coming into that. What else for the viewer? Mm-hmm. So... You had, yeah, again with the Two of Cups getting soulmate energy, there was a soulmate here. Mm -hmm. And for some of you guys too, there's just this, you know, someone was lying or, or covering up true authentic feelings. Someone was wearing a false mask in the relationship. They could have been lying. They could have been um, hiding their feelings. Yeah, a lot of you guys, this is someone from the past here. <clears throat> Remember this message about working on your relationship and then it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you guys, you, some of you guys, this is a person that's coming from the past. It has, you know, there's been deception. And then some of you guys, you guys have had, you know, <laughs> you're having a hard time opening up because we have been lied to in the past and it's hard to trust, right? It's hard to want to be that vulnerable and that um, and open again, but spirit wants you to do it. Stay optimistic about your love life. You guys are going to meet the one. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. It's your soulmate and it's, it's the one. Okay. Stay optimistic because the four of cups really is going to be the opposite of staying optimistic, right? Here's your opportunity especially when it comes to your love life viewer, but are we having a hard time staying optimistic because of past deceptions? That's what we got to look at. And then we have to question ourselves. Why should we put ourselves 
in bars or trapped from love because of something that happened in the past. That's not fair to you and that's not fair to the, um, a future person here, okay? Um, I just definitely see this is a situation where uh, regardless, this is going to be something that you want to put effort into. What else for the viewer? Some of you viewers, I'm just picking up something about maybe even receiving some type of letter as well, okay? Um, that's just a side message for some. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, remember, I was telling you, you're going to have an opportunity here where you've had a missed opportunity. What, which card did I get? I was like pulling up one thing with this. Oh, the optimistic one. Yeah. Staying optimistic. Yeah. An exciting new opportunity. Ch yeah, change your life right now. Oh my goodness. So here is uh, Ace of Wands viewer. Fire sign is showing up here. It may be literally a change of mindset because this is really what I'm seeing. It's the mind and our emotions right now. And it's literally changing that mindset, staying optimistic about your love life, allowing the past to just be what it was because whatever happens here, viewer, some of you viewers, you're going to have a conversation with someone that has not been honest with you. Um, and there's just this connection that you cannot deny. And then some, some of you viewers, yes, you've been hurt in the past. I mean, either way, you guys have been hurt in the past because of deception. And Spirit says, stay open uh, to about your love life here. Stay optimistic. It's going to be the secret. It's the secret ingredient for you. And this is why I see Spirit says, refocus. Maybe start journaling, writing down, writing down your blessings, writing down what you want your love life to look like and be grateful for it like it's already happening. Some of you guys are, are really headed towards career advancement as well, especially when it comes to creativity, growth, and prosperity here. Okay, so be open. There's an opportunity headed your way. Okay, and it could be very, very fast, and you don't want to miss this. What else for the viewer? Yeah, two, okay. Ten of fire here. So some of you viewers, there's someone, from the, some of you guys, someone from the past here is really having, um, really having a hard time um, getting over you. Um, and that feels very guilty about a situation here. And this is why it's propelling them to have a heart to heart conversation with you. Um, there's something being watched over here. Um, you know, I do see there's this, you know, there's some type of communication coming in. Okay. Uh, but for some of you guys, there's something about your guys's work too, or there's just a lot going on, uh, too much work, except help from others. We've got the 10 of wands here. Um, something is out of balance and there may be some health concerns for some of you guys that's stress related. And we've got this message about being playful which is the opposite. So for some of, some of you guys, you may need to really delegate and get rid of things um, or recharge your batteries in order to get very playful, to make room for something to happen when it comes to your love life, <laughs> okay? You don't wanna be bombarded by too many, um, too many things going on in your life or too many duties or responsibilities. And something is completing here when it comes to stress in your life, viewer. I want to get a little bit more for the viewer with that Ten of Wands. Yeah. Very t tight, 
energies and pressure here being too frivolous or too cautious with money okay good business is okay give me to those let's okay we've got the four of pentacles here i'm definitely seeing a situation that um we've got to let go of something viewer we're hanging on to something too tightly and it's it's feeling very heavy some so you whatever is feeling like you're dragging it it's probably the one thing that needs to be what needs to be let go here whether it's a belief a thought whether for some of you guys, the other thing that I'm seeing that's coming through, I know we're talking about your love life, but I do see a situation where some of you guys, it's, it's, you're working for the money here and it's just like, it's all about work and money for you. Okay. There's something about you resting in a place of knowing that you have security. Okay. There may be something here to balance, right? We've got the four of pentacles with the 10 of uh, wands here. So there's something here with balancing and balancing our finances and balancing work as well, okay? Another thing that I'm seeing, um, because I see this message, <laughs> you know, that your love life has been or is influenced by, you know, religious or your spiritual fa spirituality factors here. Some of you guys dealt with someone in the past that really felt like you just, it was like you can't, you had to carry them. It felt like you had to help them grow. You, you know, you tried and tried and this person just could not and would not be willing to grow out of certain confines, certain restrictions, you know, whatever it is, they just weren't willing um, to be more vulnerable, to be more open and, and maybe even be more open to their own spirituality and their own, um, um, intuition and abilities here. Okay. But there is something here about, you know, I've got two fours here. So I do feel something very significant is happening when it comes to setting a new roots down when it, when it comes to your, um, emotional fulfillment viewer. What else for the viewer? And some of you, yeah, you guys may have something going on with your money or you get an opportunity to, with money. And so you really do need to, uh, maybe uh, there's something here about, um, you know, getting your finances in order and, and trying to be good and responsible with that. But I do see some of you guys are hanging on to something or some of your duties and responsibilities or something even with work um, that's not necessary because it's almost like it's creating a block for you for flow of um, abundance and money as well. And when it does come to money, see, you guys have some type of new beginning. Okay, I do see a sense where there's a lot of learning and growing here. Some of you guys, this is what's awesome. I love this because we have the four of pentacles. Now we've got the page of pentacles. There's going to be good news about financial matters. Okay. So, um, some of you guys may be wanting to learn something that's a little bit more challenging, um, or you want to take something on. But what I do see is whatever this is, it's going to be very trustworthy and dependable. Okay. You may need to have a little patience here. Uh, but this is something very solid for you, viewer. So some type of news information is coming your way and it's going to feel like good luck. It's going to, it's going to be good news, viewer. Let's see, uh, what else for the viewer? Don't give up, viewer. Protect. Okay. I'm seeing that with the four pentacles. Something about protecting what you've created. Whatever you guys have created so far, your, your money, your creations, whatever you're doing, you want to protect what you've been creating so far, okay? Because it's only you're only going to be getting more of that. You just need to have the courage to believe in yourself at this time. We've got the nine of wands here, Okay, we're definitely feeling a type of exhaustion. We're definitely been wounded too in the past here. Something is coming that's gonna, uh, I'm gonna say this, something is coming 
that's going to really throw you off guard. But you've got to be, you got to be, you've got to watch out though, because remember, there's something about staying optimistic about your love life. Um, the nine of wands, we could be very guarded. We could, um, you know, it could be. <laughs> we're definitely not going to be open. But there is something about you persevering when it comes to your work. Something is paying off for you. And I feel for some of you guys, you're finally going to be able to relieve yourself from a lot of stresses and duties and obligations <clears throat> in, in your situation. Just have courage and believe in yourself, okay? And what you've been doing so far. What else for the viewer? There it is. So I was seeing the Ace of Cups here because you see this one big cup here, right? So there's definitely something coming to you that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. So you're definitely getting some type of love, okay? Ace of Cups is showing up falling in love or, <laughs> oh my gosh, listen, you viewer, huh? falling in love or a resurgence of a relationship. That's definitely in the long of the line, along the lines of this two two of cups energy that I'm getting with that heart of heart conversation. Okay, and you're talking about a resurgence, and we have a past life relationship. Sp oh, listen to this: a spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. And there may be something for some of you guys uh, about a home here, some type of um. Uh, opportunity with a house or relocating but um, yeah we've got a situation here where I do see some type of advancement happening when it comes to like whatever you're doing as far as your you know your purpose or, or your career or whatever it is that you're doing um, by yourself here well water sign is showing up so we've got divine love and we've got an opportunity in love you guys so viewer, if you've been seeking that, you've got to ask yourself, because I really don't see, I mean, are we staying optimistic? I know that it's hard. I know that it's tough, but I do see some type of offering. Look at, look at her, she's offering something here. Positive thinking is going to bring you romance. It's, that's like literally the only key here. What else for the viewer? I mean, you got the Ace of Fire, you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of um, <clears throat> Wands. I mean, and now we got the sun card. <clears throat> Again, with the staying optimistic viewer, you got a happy, you, you have a happy outcome viewer. Your angels is coming through this reading right now, letting you know you guys are promised a happy outcome. If you guys can work on whatever it is that's going on in the mind right now or how we're feeling, right? We may be just stuck in a rut here where we've just had a hard time because we may, some of you guys have may, may have been in that four of cups energy for so long that it's kind of hard to get out of. You know, you're just kind of bored. You just kind of, you kind of almost used to being that way. So it may take some effort. You may need to get out a little bit more, get a little happy, whatever it is. Maybe for some of you guys, it's music, it's journaling, um, you know, whatever it is. You guys uh, will definitely have, um, I definitely some, see something strong for a lot of you guys in this reading with your creativity, um, something about your work and having a lot of success with it. There's so much that spirit wants you to have confidence about, especially when it comes to whatever it is that you've been working so hard at, because it's going to be worth protecting. It's some type of treasure for you. Have confidence in yourself. You guys are being led to success and I love seeing the sun card because the other thing that I was saying when I was getting this is like, it's like this energy of finally having some type of truth, honesty, clarity in a situation, um, something being exposed with the sun card. Okay. I see, um, I definitely see you shining and having some, any of you guys having health issues, it's coming back. 
okay? It's like you're literally coming, having your life come back here. What else for the viewer? Yeah, it landed right on here. Soulmate, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, playfulness, your opportunity of true love. You're going to get the true love. You're going to have the love life you've always wanted, viewer. You're going to have it. This will be the romance of a lifetime because it's going to feel honest and true. Some of you guys may have to work on past hurts so that we can be open and we're not, you know, I'm just seeing this, the eight of swords energy where she's, you know, bound and she's got all those swords around her and, you know, there's just, we're afraid to be vulnerable. Um, we may be afraid to uh, get out of our head and be open because we've dealt with deception. Okay. People make mistakes and people learn, people grow, but whatever your situation is, you, you hear that? <laughs> it's so cute that that owl. Yeah, yeah, you're being led to the right direction here, viewer, and whatever needs to be exposed and revealed, it's gonna be exposed and revealed, um, but it's almost so it can give it new life, okay? So, mm -hmm. this, is, this is a true love situation, viewer. What else for the viewer? Okay, so that's it for those. So let's find out what does the viewer need to be aware of? What does the viewer need to be aware of? I feel some of you guys, you know what I'm getting to, a lot of you guys may have had a false start in a situation here with someone, okay? And it was a false start. Um, because of some type of difference, you know, there was just some differences, um, but, and, and for some of you guys too, you just need to know, um, some of you guys, yeah, you may have had a false start with somebody, um, that wasn't the right one and you're coming into a true love situation. So just stay open to that. But I do see for a lot of you guys though, there, there, I just can't deny that there is a situation here where spirit doesn't want you to give up on someone. Okay. because you know it was like um the timing was off or something something was just not it wasn't it wasn't the right time let's see what else uh, oh i was asking um what you need to be aware of oh so there was there was a few there was more than one one thing about courage and having confidence right now some of you guys really need to take a lead in something here. Um, there's just something about having the courage to move forward. Okay. I want to get a little bit more. I'm getting like hermit energy. It's because some of you guys, I feel like there's just this, you're, you're searching there for some of you guys. It's, it's like your spirituality and what is meaning to you is like, it's pulling you. And so you're feeling like a separating from like, um, older energies, older belief systems, older ways of thinking, you know, whatever it is. And you're having to have the courage to really, you know, unfold and go and do your own thing, right? Without anybody's opinions or judgments. I want a little bit more of what the viewer needs to be aware of with this courage. It's almost like, yeah, have the courage to go into a territory you haven't been before either. The other thing I'm seeing is someone else there for you guys, uh, someone coming back here for this um, resurgence, renewal. They're having to gather. <laughs> what you need to be aware of is they're having to gather a lot of courage to come forward here and they're trying to find you or find that way. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh my God. Yeah, you guys have been really, really hurt. There's no doubt about it. You guys have really definitely felt that hole in the soul. It's going to take an immense amount of courage to, to get up. Because you know what I'm seeing is like the Ten of Swords energy. Some of you guys had dealt with such a, um, a painful, <sighs> dreadful, hurtful ending in a situation where it's left you 
literally like you could not you had no you had no energy to even like get up and move you couldn't even fight for a situation you could some of you guys couldn't even fight for this connection because what it left you so so like done and spirit knows it's going to take the courage to get up and move forward here and I do sense for some of you guys, there's a situation where we're feeling that we're, we're feeling incomplete because we feel such a connection here. We're missing that, right? No matter how you feel, feel complete and keep moving forward very strong and stand your ground as a very courageous person here. You're going to really attract a very strong, courageous energy towards you as well that's going to support you. Let's find out, viewer, how spirit is helping you. Whatever the past will happen, you're gonna have you're gonna be exposed to that. Um, and you're finally gonna get what it is that you've been desiring, especially when it comes to your love life. Uh, what was I asking? Oh, how spirit's helping you with self-love. I mean, it kind of makes sense because of this whole hole in the soul, right? We, we need to fill in those holes. We need to give ourselves self-love. We need to honor our femi for our femininity or our masculinity. We're, 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 we're doing self-love is exactly this ace of cups as well. You're filling up your cup so that you have an abundance of love, right? And you're attracting exactly how you want to be treated. When you're loving yourself and honoring yourself like the God or goddess divine being you are, that's exactly the partnership that you're going to attract. Spirit's helping you do things that honor your um, honor yourself. And I do see because a lot of you guys are really exhausted and working hard and you've been in you've been in some type of like you've definitely it's just this energy of being in this crazy battling not I mean, a crazy battle or something like you know or a journey a long journey whoops okay let's find out i want to find out how else spirit is helping uh the viewer and then i want to find out a probable um excuse me a potential outcome for you too viewer so how is spirit helping the, i want to find out how else the spirits uh, I can't even talk. I want to find out how else Spirit's helping you. Yep. Manifesting, right? Creating. There was something about this that I was, yeah. Spirit is helping you blend your realities together here, viewer. Um, because it's like spirit knows what's been going on on the internal part of you, what you've been wanting and desiring, what you've been, some of you guys been manifesting and you've been really working hard, but then it's like you got this, this battle with your reality and you're not seeing something. And so it is coming together. It is blending spirits, helping you guys, um, really getting, um, the, the energies right for you at the right time. And understanding your powers, understanding alchemy, understanding what entrapment does. It just keeps us staying entrapped. It keeps us staying where we need to be, trapped. I also see, um, I'm getting like, um, I'm also seeing restoration in here. I'm getting uh, Sagittarius. Oh, I always say this. I always say Sagittarius. <laughs> Temperance card. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, yeah, I'm just seeing a win-win situation, okay? And you guys are going to have a promise of a new day, absolutely, with that sun card. Let's find out a potential outcome for you. Look, you can't make it up, viewer. You're going to have new love. New love. This is what this ace of water is. So however it shows up for you guys, uh, a resurgence of a, a, um, a relationship that never died in the first place or brand new freaking love. And it's true. Love. Either way, viewer, it's true love, right? You guys have to stay optimistic. Spirit's trying to help you with your manifestation skills, okay? 
Spirit knows you guys feel this hole in your soul and Spirit is going to fill in what you feel is missing. You have an outcome. I mean, you've got a beautiful, beautiful outcome. Spirit picked these cards to come out for you, viewer. Your outcome is a new person that stirred your romantic feelings. I see a lot of romance, okay? So be open to this. Could be a new, you know, again, someone from the past, they show up new, whatever, it doesn't matter, or it's totally new, right? Stay optimistic about your love life because it's finally going to happen for you, viewer. Stay open. Don't allow your mind to play tricks on you, okay? Do things that honor you, make you feel good, be happy, and watch it come in, okay? I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.